Okay. So I'm going to start recording now. Okay. And I, I um, okay. and I, uh, I'm mentioning that I, uh, that I do already know you, so you're not a stranger to me. But also that a lot of things have happened in the last few years since I see, last seen you or really had any oh, interaction yeah. with you. Yeah. Yeah, you have a lot of things going on there. And um, I want to hear about them, find out about what's going on in your life, some of your, 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 prior, your, your priorities right now, and some of the things that are on your mind. I know that um, my opinion of, of you is that you're a very uh, conscious person. So um, I do want to hear something about that. Uh, okay. And... Do I, I I didn't mention this prior to uh, speaking. I should have texted you. Uh, if there's anything that you don't want to speak about, mention that. Uh, you stop me. Okay. Okay, stop me. All right. So, firstly, tell me what's been going on in your life, Jasmine. Um. Well, I created a person. You sure did. I did, and he is about to turn one in exactly one week. Um, I'm trying to think about the last time I saw you. It's been some years. Cocktails. Cocktails. Last time, um, I think that we were physically in each other's presence. We were, uh, you were um, uh, cultivating some cocktails. And we were having a girl's day. And I haven't had that cocktail since. I think I made something called the... uh, buttered pancake or something yeah. like that <laughs> with yeah. the shrimp eggs <laughs> right the best eggs I didn't had to this day she never could duplicate them she never could duplicate them right um so yeah I've I've created a person uh-huh. I have a son he's about to be one soon mm-hmm. um I've gone on my first international trips. I went to South Africa, um, Johannesburg, Ooh, I saw your uh, and yes. Jamaica. Okay. Um, Jamaica was just like a, it was like a little resort thing. Mm-hmm, I don't mm-hmm. think that if I went back to um, anywhere like that, I don't think I would do a resort. It, okay. I didn't really get a feel for uh, the people in in the country. I I could have been in Florida. Okay. For all I right, right. <laughs> really knew. So I don't think I would do a resort again. Mm-hmm. Um, but Johannesburg was, I went essentially by myself. I went um, with the travel group, uh, Travel Noir. Mm-hmm. And um, so it was a bunch of strangers. But um, by the end of it, we were all friends. Because you know how it is when you're trying to travel and you can't ever really get people to go with you. Everybody's like, oh, yeah, let me know. Let me know. I'm like, well, this is me letting you know. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Jasmine, that's exactly why I travel by myself. Yeah. That's so, exactly why um, I travel by myself. It, I, I tried. Like, I didn't necessarily want to go alone, mm-hmm. but I had such a great time just, like, going out by myself. and Because mm-hmm. um, they have Uber in Johannesburg so Mm -hmm. I was all over the place um I went to see a play by myself it was about the the meeting of um Malcolm X and Martin Luther King okay but it was so funny because they had their you know their regular accents their their uh, (laughs) South African accents okay but they were trying it was a, a South African trying to sound like a southern black man okay was hilarious so it was like a very serious play but i was just like giggling to myself. <laughs> uh, but yeah i went to do that by myself i um caught up with friends of friends mm-hmm. who i'd never met before from howard that howard uh connect is everywhere with... first of all hmm? it's everywhere it's try everywhere. to go somewhere um i kind of told a couple people I was going to um, Joburg and Uh everybody was like, okay, well, you got to hook up with this person and you got to hook up with that person. And normally, like, it was such a different thing for me because I'm an introvert and Uh um, used to be very shy and I've become less shy as I've gotten older, but it's still a little stepping outside myself to go visit 
a person I've never met before and agreed to drinks and dinner with them mm-hmm. and stuff like that. But I was so glad that I did. Um, it was such a great, enriching, wonderful experience. Um, so I highly, I mean, this is a, I'm not, Travel Noir ain't paying me, but mm-hmm. I highly recommend taking a trip with Travel Noir if you're, if you want to travel, can't find anybody to travel with, don't exactly want to go by yourself, mm-hmm. but kind of, you know, it's, it's a very safe environment where you, you make friends along the way. Mm-hmm. Now, what prompted this, this trip? What prompted you to say, I, I'm taking this trip? And how did you select where you chose to go? Um, I, I really wish I could say it was like this deep spiritual thing, but I got a new job and I had some money, so okay. I was like, let's spend it. Right, right, right. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I was, I was working for a, a celebrity, um, and so I was seeing money that I had never really seen before, okay. and I said, I'm going somewhere. Um, <clears throat> now... I had heard about Chava Noir, mm-hmm. so I knew I wanted to go through them because mm-hmm. I was going to be traveling alone. Okay. And then I wanted to go to um, Cape Town because I mm-hmm. I'd asked my friends like, where do you go? Where's the best place? And um, but when I went to try to go to Cape Town, it was full. So oh, okay. um, I was sad, but I was like, well, let's just do Johannesburg. You know, let's just get me there. Mm-hmm. So. Um, but I'm so glad that I ended up going to Johannesburg because in hindsight, they say you go to Cape Town for the beauty okay. of the land, uh-huh. but then you go to Joburg for the people. The people. Mm-hmm. Um, and so uh, it was really, it was so great to see just how alike we are. Uh-huh. Um, people are people everywhere you go, mm-hmm. and um, especially across the diaspora, like... We're, we're, we're the same. I saw gold teeth. I right. saw boosy face. Uh-huh. <laughs> all of that. So I was like, you know what? This feels like home. Mm-hmm. Um, so yeah, it, it was great. You, you described yourself as an introvert. I would never yeah. have guessed that. So when you're out there and you're traveling with strangers for the most part, yeah. And you're enjoying yourself, and you come away from that experience having loved it. Do you yeah. still consider yourself an introvert, or how do you feel afterward? How do you feel afterward? Oh yeah, I mean, I don't think that something like that. I kind of feel like being an introvert or extrovert. That's just who you are as a person. Mm-hmm. Possibly just something you're born into. Mm-hmm. I think that um, you know we all have our moments extroverts they have their moments where they want to be alone it like it doesn't to me just being an introvert means that i gather my energy from being alone okay like i love my friends mm-hmm. i love my family mm-hmm. i like going to gatherings i like being sociable but all of that is very draining for me mm-hmm. i have to know in advance like i'm not just a Let's go to this party tonight. Uh, I need to put it on my calendar. (laughs) I need to hype myself up. Uh uh Yeah, so, like, being an introvert is... Now, I mean, as a child, Uh it was was bad. It was, like, real bad. I would just have so much to say, but I never spoke. Mm -hmm. Um, And when I really, really wanted to say something, like, I would have to hype myself up, like... Mm -hmm. Okay, you're gonna speak in three, mm-hmm. two. Like I would literally do a countdown in my mind, like you're mm-hmm. just gonna blurt it out in three seconds. And then they would I wouldn't say it. And I'm like, no, for real, you're gonna say it in three. So it, I was I was very shy. Mm-hmm. Um, a lot of people who knew me as a child and who still know me now are just like, I always thought you were mean and um you know, you never said anything. Friends were like, I always thought you was a lame, but you're real cool. Mm-hmm. Now that you talk, I'm like, oh, all right. <laughs> mm-hmm. But yeah, um, it was this very like introverted, introspective shyness that um, I grew out of the shyness. Mm-hmm. Now you know I can talk to just about anybody. Mm-hmm. I mean, talk talk to anybody about pretty much anything. Mm-hmm. But it's still draining for me. Mm-hmm. So yeah, I would still consider myself an introvert. 
Uh, I love cancel plans. Uh-huh. Yes. I, love, <laughs> I love being at home, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, reading a book and, mm-hmm. and chilling. Mm-hmm. That's what I'm doing on any given day. And then I'll go out, you know, every now and then. But again, it got to be something that's on that calendar. Right. Can't right. just can pop up with it for me. Nah, nah I don't like pop ups either. Uh uh-uh. uh. I don't like pop ups either. Cancel no. thing. Uh, this comedian, um, um, John Mulaney. He uh, one of his lines was that I, I related to was cancel uh, plans feel like heroin. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> cool. <laughs> and it's just because that's another like thing. Like you have, I have to hype myself up. Like okay, I'm going go to this party. Uh-huh. It's gonna be fun. Uh-huh. Especially if it's something I don't really want to do, but right. I agree to it with a friend.